Hey guys, want to show off my latest Marketplace Power Wheels find. This is a little butte that I picked up a few weeks ago for free on Marketplace. It had a dead battery, but I was told that it ran. So, decided to do some mods, kind of like you've seen on Facebook and YouTube. This one, same, same story, had a 12 volt battery. 9 amp, but it was crapped out, so I decided to upgrade with two of these little beauties. Two lithium ion 18 volt 5.5 amp hours. So far, so good. I decided that I would put these in the back at first. Take them off, wire them up, shove them right in the back, but they ended up being way too cluttered. So, what I decided to do. Let's put these on here. Both sides, dual action. Whenever we're ready to go, take these. Pop them right on. Pop that one on, and we're ready to roll. I also decided to wire in a speed controller, but after using it for a little while decided that I don't really need it and had I have the chance to do it again, probably leave it out for the next one. I've got a, a six-year-old and a four-year-old who use this. The uh, six-year-old, she's been riding another side-by-side -side version we got back here for a while now, so it hasn't really been much of an issue. But the uh, four-year-old, he's not quite there yet, and the thing goes so fast that we actually have to uh, not let him ride this one quite yet. In addition to doing that mod, I also took the governor screw out of here, which makes it go from uh, just a slower speed, I think it's a two and a half miles an hour, to five, if, if it had a normal lead acid battery. But... Uh, you know, we're not in that case. I, I don't know how fast it goes, but it goes fast enough where my kid can drift pretty much whenever she needs to. This battery mod alone is worth it just for the charging aspects. The lead acid battery alone needed to be charged for about 14 to 17 hours. But this one here, you just pop them off whenever you're done using them. Take them over to a Makita-like battery charger. Plug them right in in about 30 minutes or so, they're done. It's beautiful. I haven't tested the load capacity to see how far they go, but usually my kids will ride for about an hour or two, and they'll be about halfway done, and then we'll charge them back up. You know, they're, they're export batteries from, from China, so they really don't have the best quality built into be the beginning. So uh, had we, you know, splurged and actually bought Makita brand batteries or Bosch Brett batteries or whichever ones that were, you know, we decided to fit up, it would have done probably a lot better, but we'll have to see how far they, they actually go, how long. I haven't taken the kids far away from the house quite yet, but I'm sure when I do, I'll probably take my drill batteries that I have and throw them right in the front here just as kind of an insurance policy, just so we can know that we can uh, get home after we run these things down. Now as far as money goes, if you were to get a lead acid battery, most all of the ones that I found had to be shipped from the states. So if you were to get one, it'd be about $220 or 170 pounds. But for this particular mod. I got two battery adapters for 19 pounds, two inline fuses for three pounds 78, two batteries for 52 pounds 92 pence, speed controller 867, fuses 238, wire ended up being three, so a grand total of 89 pounds and 75 pence or 116 
dollars and sixty seven cents. The only thing that you might need if you're to do it about the same way would possibly be a charger, but even those came out to be about twenty pounds themselves. So not too bad. Again, I was able to, to get the speed controller here and I got the fuses, which I didn't show earlier. But these guys right here just put like a 12 or 15 amp fuse in. Since it's only going to be about 11 amps, I didn't want to have too big of a fuse on it without, uh, you know, actually being effective. I've seen some people do 30 amps, but if it gets that high, it could still burn, you know, at 25 or melt wire or so. I wanted to avoid that whole mess. So, here we are. The only thing left now to do is to rip it.